Good morning everybody, it is another day here on BP Vlogs, and today I have a little bit of a different video for y'all. I want to show you, or not to show you, I want to tell y'all about my life so you, the viewer, can know a little bit more about me, so if I ever make references, or just so you can kind of know about my life. Now this isn't going to be a super in-depth about my life video, however, it's not going to be like a draw like me, draw my life or whatever but it is going to hit the highlight of who I am, what I do, my hobbies, my interests, and just roughly my life story. This is gonna be broken up into three parts. We're going to have my early childhood, we're going to have my kind of middle school, high school years, and then we're going to have my college years, which I'm currently in. So to begin, early childhood. I grew up in a small town called Tullahoma, Tennessee which is in between Nashville and Chattanooga in Middle Tennessee, small town. The location of it that most people can kind of understand is if you know where Lynchburg, Tennessee is, where Jack Daniels is distilled, then Tullahoma is only 10 minutes north of it. But I was born in Nashville, raised in Tullahoma for my entire life. I went to Bel Air Elementary School, great school. I somehow got the perfect teachers every year. I always got the teachers that were about to retire, so they had 30 plus years of teaching experience, which really helped me become an avid learner that I am now. I was always really good at math and science. I only had a small group of friends. I had, I had two friends pretty much all through elementary school who I still have today and I consider them my best friends. And even though we might not talk as much anymore, we're still brothers. I guess I should say that I consider them brothers because I am an only child. I went to Bel Air Elementary. Our mascot was the bees, so we were the Bel Air bees. I was always in all these clubs, newspaper club, welcome committee. I never did Boy Scouts though. However, in first grade, I joined Ishinru Karate at this place called the Jeremiah Center in, I believe it was Deckard and then it eventually moved to Tullahoma. I did karate for about 10 years from first all the way through ninth grade. And I managed to reach the level of second degree black belt. I held a lot of international titles. I held a lot of first place, second place, this, that, the other. I used to have like a room full of trophies, but they ended up just getting tossed because we had nowhere to put them. And in the end, I only kept the meaningful plaques. So I did karate for 10 years. I went to Bel Air Elementary. I only had a small group of friends. I've been shy my entire life. I've always been kind of withdrawn and quiet, core group of friends, core people that I talk to. I like to be by myself a lot of the times. I got my first PS2 whenever I was six or seven. So I've been a PlayStation fan and I really enjoy video games. That's one of my main hobbies. And I'm excited to get the PS5, even though it's pretty much sold out already within an hour. But back on topic, my early childhood was really good. I would say I had a very good childhood. I got lucky. I didn't really have much drama go on. I had a great school system. I was surrounded by really, really good people. I had a great family. And overall, I would say that my childhood was really pleasant. Now moving on to the second part, which is my middle school, high school years. This is where stuff gets interesting. This is where I'm growing up. I had my first relationship. I saw what the real world was kind of like. I got my first job, which was at Taco Bell. And then I also worked at JCPenney at the same time as working Taco Bell, and then eventually moved to Publix once that came in. But going back into the narrow view of things, middle school, I went to West Middle School. It was, a, again, I had a very pleasant middle school experience. I still only had my core two or three friends. I still hadn't branched out, you could say, into others. Now, I was teased a good bit in middle school. I was the runt of the litter. I was the small one, the quiet one, the reserved one. A lot of people didn't like me because supposedly I was too smart and something like that, it was weird. Middle school is where I found my love for mathematics because I had a teacher called Mr. King who was really, really good and I really appreciate everything he has done for me, especially in math team that I was in because I did math team for three years and placed 32nd in the state in middle school. And then I also had Miss Neal, who really helped foster my love for algebra and higher end mathematics as well. Other than that, the other subjects, they weren't that much. I had a really, really fun principal. He was really outgoing, Dr. Sharan. He was really fun. 
I remember him and the um, assistant principal sumo wrestled with each other with these big inflatable suits, which was really fun to watch. We also went on a good amount of field trips as well with all of our fundraisers that we would do. And then we reached the high school years where things definitely get interesting. I get a job, I get two jobs, and then I get my current job. I get in a two year long relationship. I get my first car. I make a whole new group of friends who are now my friends today, which is about four or five, so I've expanded a little bit. I took a lot more advanced mathematics. I took a lot of AP courses. I took a lot of honors courses. I went to graduation and graduated high school. None of this is in chronological order necessarily. I was part of NHS, NJHS in middle school, NHS in high school, National English Honor Society, Me Alpha Theta, Student Council, Key Club, and a few others. Besides that, high school was kind of a drag. It was a ton of homework, but I have some of the best memories in my life in high school with riding the back roads of my small town or going to work or having to Taco Bell because nothing else was open there was nothing to do or walking around Walmart or just playing video games with everybody and there's just so many good memories with high school. Some bad because high school is either somebody's best part of their life or the worst part of their life and I think for me personally it was somewhere in the middle. And now we fast forward to current time which is the, my college days and once again, this is where it gets even more interesting. Not only am I living on my own now in a dorm having to make all my own decisions, but I also have all of my car to pay for myself. And I'm starting to find myself. I'm starting to experiment with different styles. I'm trying to figure out who it is that I am while also figuring out what college is like because college was nothing like what my high school teachers said it would be. They were like, they're gonna grill you, they're gonna kill you. No. They're super lenient, they're super fun, they're super energetic. Now I'm getting into like the meat of my major, which is computer science with a math minor. So it's getting a little bit more difficult, but that's not making it any less fun. Now COVID, of course, is making it a lot more difficult. I'm not retaining as much information as I would hope, but what can you do? I met a few new friends in college, which I hope to have for the rest of my life. I'm growing closer to my friends that I have now. I'm expanding my world view of what the world is outside of my small town. I'm seeing what life has to offer and I'm taking it with stride. Now I know this, I tried to organize this, but and I had a script, but I ended up just going off the script, so sorry if this is all kind of all over the place. I know that, I guess the next thing I should talk about are my hobbies and interests. So if you might have picked up on, I'm a very avid video game player. I've had the PS2, the PS3, the PS4, I'm about to get the PS5. I really like FPS shooters, RPGs, single player games, really anything, but I really like story driven games as well. Another interest of mine is my car. I'm sure I'll eventually do a walk around of my car on this channel. It is a 2014 1LT Camaro. Yes, it's the base model, but I paid for it myself and I'm proud of it and I've been modding it as I go. Another one of my hobbies is hanging out with my friends, driving around. You could consider work a hobby, but not really. I'm starting to have my new, other new hobbies such as watch collecting, boot collecting, cologne collecting, expanding my wardrobe. So I'm really starting to expand out with what I do. Now some of the hardships I've had in my life is, I'll keep these kind of broad. I've had a few family issues in the past. I've had a few, I don't want to say toxic, but a few toxic relationships. I've had some questionable friendships. I've had some very low life, low point moments in my life that I'm not necessarily proud of, but I'm proud of myself for getting out of it because everyone has their struggles and just because others aren't as bad as yours does not mean yours is not as important. Self-care and self-love is important. Thought I should mention that. In regards to my future goals, I want to work for either a big tech company or start my own tech company. I've thought about maybe going into video game development and maybe working for like Bungie or Activision or something. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on if I get like a good job here in Huntsville because we have the second largest research park in either the world or the United States. So there's a lot of good job opportunities here. My parents actually live in Oklahoma now. So once I graduated high school, they moved to Oklahoma and I live here in Huntsville. So if we ever do like a road trip to Oklahoma, now you know why. So this has just been a really quick and dirty off the top of my head. Who am I? 
what can you not expect from me, but what is kind of my background in life so you, the viewer, can help understand me, the person you're watching, about my life a little bit better. I know it wasn't the most detailed, it wasn't the most entertaining, it was mainly just generic broad terms of me kind of just rambling on and on about whatever popped in my head and whatever memory I got out of the blue. But without further ado, Thank you for watching. If you want me to do a Q&A about my life, then feel free to drop your questions down in the comments below and I might do a Q&A in the future about my life. If you would like to know a deeper dive, whether it's into my high school experience or a deeper dive into middle school or a deeper dive into my first year of college alone, then feel free to let me know as well. Hit that like button, really helps out with the algorithm and helping me grow as a channel. Thank you for all the support as always. It's only gonna get better from here and I'll catch y'all in the next one.